Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed comparison here between some top end Android phones. We do have the Mate 20 Pro, uh, we have the XC3, we have the Note 9, and we have the OnePlus uh, 6T. Uh, probably the most notable Android handsets at the end of 2018. Uh, so let's just see how they do compare. We're going to put the Kirin 980 for the test here against uh, some Snapdragon 845 uh, devices and the Exynos obviously in the Note 9. Uh, obviously we are on the verge of some new phones with new technology but uh, I've been hearing some things about the Kirin that it's very uh, next gen and that could be something good there uh, given the phone is pretty new so all of them have uh, roughly the same kind of I think display technology now OLED you can see Note 9 beating everyone here a little bit faster than uh, the XC3 uh, and then we did have the Mate 20 Pro and then finally OnePlus 6T uh, which is quite surprising given that the 6T is like probably the most thin uh, skin kind of software here I think Sony and OnePlus 6T is the closest to stock whereas the Note 9 and the Mate 20 Pro seem to have more going on in terms of the software here uh, but nevertheless let's just have a look at the uh, speed then. So we're going to measure the processing performance first. So we can see, let's just turn them up to the max. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, all of them have the uh, OLED technology now, which looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, can't really see a huge difference, although I would say I think Sony's really nailed it this year uh, for having the best overall quality, uh, but it is very subjective. So we're just going to run through this nice and fast. I will speed up the video so as not to keep you waiting. So we are halfway through here and I just wanted to give you uh, like a picture here of what uh, is happening. And I think you can see the Mate 20 Pro uh, is slightly ahead overall. Not as much as I was thinking to be honest. Uh, but you can see it is ahead of the pack here. Uh, is the first uh, processor with a 7 nm process so uh, nanometer that is very small architecture cortex a76 uh, first dual mpu design whatever that means so lots of uh, really nice technology here giving the edge but i think you can see the exynos uh, note 9 uh, it's still doing amazing, you know, even though it's a little bit more outdated here. Really wondering how the S10 is going to, you know, step things up in terms of the processing speed. Hopefully they'll also work on, you know, bringing things forward in terms of the camera because I felt like the camera has been a bit uh, stagnant since the P20 Pro. I haven't really seen too much new. Uh, but we are coming to the end here now, as you can see. It looks like the... Uh, the Mate 20 Pro is going to win. I think the Sony uh, is a little bit behind here. Sony has never been the best, I don't think, when it comes to the benchmarks. But then again, they don't cheat, which is good. And we do have the Mate 20 Pro with 3,306 for the single core, 9,841 for the multi core, so nearly 10,000. Uh, which is pretty epic but you can see Exynos is still beating it here uh, with the single core you can see 3625 uh, with multi-core a bit lower that is shocking that it actually is better than the latest uh, architecture chip from Mate 20 Pro might take it back now uh, no, no, I'm just joking, but you can see uh, it's really amazing processor performance. I really uh, have underrated the latest Exynos uh, processor. I think it's fantastic. Uh, with the XE3 and the uh, OnePlus, you're literally getting like one difference in terms of the single core, but the multi-core way better on the 
uh, OnePlus 6T here for some reason. So Sony again a little bit behind uh, this year when it comes to benchmarks, but nevertheless, really shocking results here for the Note 9. Uh, fantastic performance, even though it is getting on a little bit. So have a look at the uh, speed test here. What we can do. Uh, obviously, we can't really do too much because I don't have access to the fastest. But uh, it's more of a test of the the strength of it nowadays because I am quite far away from it. So you can see, you know, who. You might do it all at the same time as well just for fun because I haven't done it that way for a while see who grabs the most speeds just make sure they're all on the same server so I'll just change this one there we go so yeah let's just boost the brightness here a little bit and three two one let's go People used to hate it when I did it this way, but I thought it was really fun seeing, you know, who who wins, who's the beast, and it looks like the note is the beast here when it comes to grabbing the Wi-Fi. I mean, look at that, <laughs> way ahead of the others. So you can see, you know, Note Nine users here, uh, very happy, I'm sure pretty much beating the latest uh, Androids in every way uh, I think the upload though could do with some improvement not the best there but I'm more concerned with the download and I think you can see OnePlus doing very good uh, with the upload uh, but some cracking performance here for the Note 9 and still, you know, it is the only phone that gives you that S Pen, uh, you know, value add. I'm quite surprised that Huawei still hasn't found a way to implement that uh, with their big screen kind of curved displays here. I thought they would have done something by now, but yeah, just a quick little comparison here between some of the nicest phones on the market in late 2018. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.